So should you buy a house right now? In fact, over the years, is now a good time to buy a house is something that buyers always ask, right? And so I would say the elephant in the room on that conversation, um, especially younger buyers that are coming into the market, is could real estate go down in value? And I'll tell you a secret, yes, it could go down in value. In fact, every market that I know of for hundreds of years from gold to stock market to real estate is cyclical. So things are going to go up and go down in almost every market. And so I think people buying real estate have to look at buying real estate differently. It's not speculative, meaning there are ways to speculate on real estate and flips and different things that you can do. But in that case, you have different concerns and that's really a different video. For most people deciding that they want to buy a home, it's more a question of leverage, meaning you're going to pay monthly rent or some kind of cost to live. Why not leverage that money into a tangible asset? And so even though markets do go up and down, Warren Buffett, who I love, is famous for saying, don't invest in things that you can't understand. And so real estate, you actually can understand, which means that basically you have a tangible asset that you purchased. And so I was like, I was talking to a lady who uh, I've known over for a while, and a few years ago she was deciding to buy a house. She decided it wasn't a good time. I was talking to her not, not too long ago. She pays two thousand a month in rent. So regardless of what the real estate market did or didn't do, she spent almost seventy-five thousand dollars in rent and has nothing to show for it. That's really the reason to buy real estate. You know, the idea of buying real estate and have it go massively up in value is not a good evaluation of is now a good time to buy or not. In fact, real estate, you know, I just had an article where there was a 95% chance, I'll put a link down in the description, that real estate will go up over the next two years, which makes sense because of the low inventory and still relatively low rates. It doesn't really matter in my mind. I'm actually, you know, everybody wants the market to go up, but that's not going to happen forever. It's that, one, can you afford the house? And two, you know, are you basically just reallocating that rent money to owning a house? Which in my mind is always a really good thing to do. It, it's important to reach out to people that you trust, um, you know, family, whoever that is for you, about owning a home. You know, even reaching out to people in the mortgage industry and real estate industry about home ownership, the hidden cost of home ownership. Really just people that are going to be straight with you about evaluating, you know, if you're in the place in your life where you think it's a good time to buy a home. And also on the mortgage, you know, it's really just as important for someone to give you really straight, honest financial um, advice as far as getting a mortgage goes without any gimmicks, without any tricks, you know, no, we're going to pay your closing costs or guarantee the lowest rate. Because the thing with the mortgage, on every mortgage on the planet, if you're getting something, you're giving up something. There's a trade-off on every mortgage. And so what you really want is somebody just to give you the facts, to work with you, to open a dialogue with, to understand your situation, to guide you and educate you into what is the best mortgage for your situation right now. You know what we always say, my son just kind of recently joined our team. I say recently, it's been almost two years. <laughs> Seems recent. So one of the things that I taught him is the reason we're a broker and, and you know, and not a regular mortgage lender is one, we can be way less expensive than almost everyone else. But two, we're not controlled by any bank or lender. We go out based on the client situation and go get them the best deal in the marketplace. We don't like the way this company does business, we don't have to work with them. If we don't like the rates this company charges, then we don't have to work with them. We work for you. And that's what makes us different. And so that's really what you need. And then Google the people that you're going to work with. See what other people are saying about you know working with them and how it goes. Because at the end of the day, whether you should buy a house or not, really dictates, you know, is really dictated by can you afford it? You know, do you know all the hidden costs? You know what all the mortgage costs are? And do you know all the ins and outs of the mortgage that you're, you know, deciding to pick? And working with a realtor that knows the market as a full-time agent, and I know some really, really great, in fact, probably the best realtors in the marketplace here in Central Florida. So, again, it's about somebody that you trust that's going to give you good advice and that knows the market. So, if you have any questions, give me a call. If you're thinking about getting a mortgage, Open a dialogue with us. Put us to work for you. Put, you know, put us to the test because we like to earn your business. We like to prove to you that uh, you know we're in it for the long term 
and we're okay if you look around and Google us and you know anything that we tell you check out to make sure you're 100% comfortable with what we're saying. So if you have any questions, give us a call. If now's a good time to buy or you're thinking about buying, definitely reach out to us. I'm going to put a link below to a uh, video I did on common mortgage mistakes that you may want to watch. With that, have a great day and I'll uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.